In this video, I'm going to discuss with you some of the tips you can use in creating some awesome thumbnails in this festive season of Christmas, Vlogmas and those kind of things. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you are old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So we are in the season of Vlogmas and Christmas and I decided to show you how to make some popping thumbnails for your channels. Alright, so if you are doing Vlogmas or let's say you want to upload a video on Christmas stuff, this video is for you. So stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to use Photoshop. If you have having any other software that you use to edit your thumbnails, this is going to be very useful. So you just have to stick around. Alright, so what you do is you go to File and then New. And then we are going to create the template for making the thumbnails. Alright, so you make sure you have here to be pixels. And then we are going to maintain the 1920 by 1080. Okay, so we want to decrease the resolution to about 100% since YouTube takes not more than 2 megabytes for their thumbnails. Alright, so you click OK. So in this case, when you reduce the resolution, it means that you have your particular, like your image size to be reduced. And then if you check from here, it means that we are having 5.93. So if you save this as a JPEG, it is going to reduce the actual image drastically okay so let's get into the tips all right so first of all i have a couple of things that i downloaded over here in case you want to download them i'll put them in the description so you check it out all right so these are some kind of template these are some kind of flowers that you can download them i actually downloaded the png files just to make this very simple all right so let's get into the tips so number one, assuming you have a picture like this, you've taken a picture like this and then you want to use it as your thumbnail, all that you need to do is drag and drop it inside Photoshop like this. Now you can transform this by pressing Alt and then Shift. If you are using the latest version of Photoshop, you don't need any of these. So you just transform it to fit exactly like this. This background is very suitable for making a thumbnail, right? that is looking very nice now my first tip is that in this festive season you can add something like christmas trees and stuff to your images to make it look very popping all right so i have this png over here let me drag and drop it inside photoshop all right so i'm going to pick any of the polygonal laxo the laxo tools and i'm going to separate this to two so i'm basically going to cut this to two right and then i'm going to right click and then layer the cut all right so i cut this and then i'm going to send it over to my image now this is what i have over here i can press ctrl t to transform this so when i right click i'm going to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise okay so let me transform this smaller again and then i can place this over here so you just transform it a little more again and then you can place this over here is this not looking nice so after getting your background like your thumbnail your real thumbnail your actual thumbnail you can just apply a couple of stuff like this i also have another one here that is another same tree like you can bring it over here and then when you send this to your main picture it looks nice you can just place it anywhere you want to place it you can rotate it, scale it, anyhow you want it. it just, it's just a matter of choice as to how you want to actually get your things done. So this is my first step as to how tips on how to get in or making great popping thumbnails for Christmas and Vlogmas. So step number two is introducing shapes in your thumbnails all right so assuming you have your actual picture to be like this one and then you want to add a shape to this and add probably a text to this let's say this person over here is doing vlogmas let me try and see if there is enough space over here so i drag this over here 
and then i come to pick my ellipse tool that is the circle tool so what you do is you hold shift and then you draw some kind of shape over here so this is a shape over there now one thing that you have to do is christmas comes with the colors red like red blue and green and stuff like that so you can make use of any of them like example you have this color over here you can come and pick the eyedropper and then you select this particular color and then when you double click over here you can change it to fit that same color very neatly like that okay so if you finish this you can actually decorate this to make it look very nice and these are two steps you can use in decorating this you can make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then you squeeze that one out a little bit like this and then you tick ok so you come to the fill section over here and then you reduce the fill to zero you right click and you go to blending options and then you give it a stroke so we're going to change this to white and then you can increase the stroke size from here like that so this is the first step that is how you can actually decorate this small now if you want to write a test in this you have to come and pick the test tool over here and we are not going to write directly inside this particular eclipse so we write outside of it let's say vlogmas okay so let me try to open this up like that so i have vlogmas over here and i drag it inside like that so it's just a matter of taking your time to position it over here so you can still open it up like this and then you can make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j drag it over here and then you edit this to say day day three okay i hope i'm getting this right so you can open this one also up and then you place it over here by pressing ctrl t so this is vlogmas day three and this actually is looking very stunning now another tip you can just go back to these um, flowers or images that we used and then you can drag them back again here you can actually place them under your eclipse so i have it over here and then you can reduce the size that is you transform it you you hit right click and then you rotate it vertically and then you can actually place them over here so it's just a matter of taking your time to select your eraser and then you're going to erase a part of this like that so you erase here and then you erase that place and then you can make a duplicate of it several times like here like that and then you paste it over there and then you take your eraser again and erase that part so you're going to at the end of the day you're just going to make a whole lot of duplicates that will go around this whole eclipse and make your thumbnail look very nice now the step two in decorating this particular thumbnail is you see we made a duplicate of this particular eclipse so what you do is you select it you go to the paths over here and then it's going to create a path for you so what you're going to do is you're going to select your test and then when you start over here it is going to write around it so you can create some sort of circle shape for you and then when you select this and you increase your size let's say like that let me increase it the more so it is basically adding some sort of um, circle around this for us okay so when you take over here let's go back to our layers and let's turn this off so we have another design for this one that is that that is looking very super and very nice like that okay now the last tip that i want to share with you is very simple now after making your whole tutorial you can actually add this border to it to make it look very nice i actually got this idea from a video that i was watching about three days ago now i'll put this link in the description so you check it out how to download this border so you bring your border inside and then you right click and rotate it either horizontal or up clockwise or anti-clockwise so you place it over here you make sure that it is on top of all the other layers and then you make sure it is at the very edge 
of your thumbnails so you make a duplicate of this about three times till you have it fully covered to your to the last part of your thumbnail and then you make a duplicate again you right click and then you rotate it back to um, 90 degrees clockwise and then you position it somewhere over here so that is it like that so you just take your time to position it you make another duplicate and there you go so I'm actually going to select the three that I duplicated and send it on top of my thumbnail and then I'm going to duplicate these last two and send that one also over here actually with this one you can even get rid of the flowers that you've already included this actually makes your thumbnail looks very christmas like so these are my tips my general tips on how to make great thumbnails this festive season just make use of some bodies make use of some flowers make use of some plain simple test and then make use of some saturations and some christmas things in your thumbnails thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll get back to you with another one it's innocent here bye